Good afternoon guys welcome back in the next video of stability series so in this video today we are going to start our next exercise that is transverse statical stability before starting the video what this what does this uh, transverse stability word mean so transverse means port to starboard that is list is towards the port or list is towards the starboard but when we talk about the longitudinal stability the term will come we will say that term is trim trim by head or trim by stern so there are two kinds of terms basically upright and even keel when the vessel has no list no kind of keel the vessel is in upright condition and the vessel does not have any trim then she will be in the even keel condition so stability means to keep the vessel upright and even keel at almost all the times throughout the voyage at at anchorage or at any kind of movement so without wasting time let's start this chapter so first we will read the contents what are the contents we have to study so this is the list heel transfer shift of b b stands for buoyancy transverse metacenter that is m metacentric height that is gm writing lever that is gz writing moment that is rm and some formulas so list will be the the transverse inclination caused by unequal distribution of weights on either side of the center line of the ship in other words list is caused when the center of gravity of the ship is not on the center line an internal cause guys list is always caused by an internal cause that is unequal distribution of cargo that is the major cause and if the vessel is in heel condition means the g is on the center line but the swell and the current is you know taking the ship towards the port side or taking the ship to the starboard side that is why it is look like it's list but it is on the heel condition so a ship with a list will become upright only if the cog is brought up to the center line next is heel the transverse inclination of the ship caused by external forces such as wind waves centrifugal force during course alteration over tight moorings in port etc since no transfer shift of weights has taken place on board the position of the cog of the ship remains unaffected by heel so this is the difference between the list and heel list is caused by the internal cause that is the shifting of cargo or unequal distribution of cargo and heel is caused by the external forces external parameters like such as wind waves centrifugal forces courses alteration over tight moorings in port and etc so transfer shift of b says that when a ship is floating in still water her cog and cob will be in a vertical line okay the forces of gravity and buoyancy being equal and opposite will cancel each other out and the ship will be in static equilibrium okay next will be the transverse metacenter m when a vessel is heeled inclined by an external force the force of buoyancy acting vertically upwards through the new position of cob cuts the center line of the ship at a point called the transverse metacenter guys check the description for the diagram of each topic metacentric height this is the height between the g gravity and the metacentric transverse metacenter so the vertical distance between the center of gravity and the metacenter gm is termed positive when g is below m that is when kg is less than km and negative when g is above m when kg is greater than km now guys writing lever stands for gz when a vessel is heeled inclined by an external force the force of buoyancy acting vertically upwards through the new position of cob becomes separated from the force of gravity acting vertically downwards through the cog by a horizontal distance called the writing lever gz okay when a vessel is heeled now the topic is writing moment when a vessel is heeled inclined by an external force the forces of gravity and buoyancy being equal and opposite become separated by a horizontal distance called the writing lever that is gz and form a couple which tends to return the vessel to upright the movement of this couple is a measure of the tendency of the vessel to return to the upright and hence called the writing movement 
on the movement of statorial stability. So there are some formulas which we will use in the numericals. So Gz will be Gm multiplied by sin theta. This formula will be applicable for the small angles of field up to 15 degrees or small angles of list up to 15 degrees. 15 degrees is more important, either it is list or heel. So Gz will be sin theta bracket Gm plus 1 by 2 Bm 10 square theta. This is for the angles more than 15 degree. Next will be Rm writing moment which is equals to the displacement multiplied by Gz that is writing lever. So Rm will be W multiplied by Gm multiplied by sin theta. Okay guys, this is time to do the some numericals. So a ship of 10,000 ton displacement has a GM of 0.4 meters. Calculate the moment of statical stability when she is healed by 5 degrees. Okay, this is less than 15 degrees. So we will use the short one formula. So displacement is 10,000 ton. Again, write the given data in your answer sheet always. GM will be 0.4 meters. Heel will be 5 degrees. Rm, writing moment which is equals to the displacement multiplied by Gm multiplied by sin theta. So guys, in this case, Rm we have to find and we have in place of W, displacement we have 10,000 tons. Gm we have 0.4 meters and sin theta. In this theta, we have this 5 degree. So we will directly put the data like 10,000 multiplied by 0.4 multiplied by sin 5 which is equals to the 3, 4, 8, decimal 6, 2. Okay. So, the moment of statical stability when she is healed by 5 degrees, 3, 4, 8, decimal 62 TM. Okay. Question 2 says that a ship of 12,000 ton displacement is healed by 6 degrees. If her writing lever is 0.1 meters, find the moment of statical stability. If her KM is 8.2 meters, find her KG. Okay. Guys, we will do step by step. By step. The displacement given is 12,000 ton. Heel is 6 degrees. Gz, that is writing lever, is 0.1 meters. Km is 8.2 meters. Okay. So, Gz will be Gm sin theta. Gz will be 0.1, which is equals to Gm sin 6. So, Gm will be 0.956. Now, we have to find the Kg. So, we have Km minus Gm. So 8.2 minus 0.956 which is equal to the 7.24 meters. Now writing moment will be displacement multiplied by gm multiplied by sin theta which is equal to the 12,000 multiplied by 0.956 which is equal to the sin 6. So finally the answer will be 1199.15 which is equal to the 1200 tons meter. So the moment of statical stability is 1200. And her kg will be 7.24 meters. So, question 3 says that when a ship of 14,000 ton displacement is healed by 8 degrees, her moment of statical stability is 400. If kg is 7.3 meters, find km. This is also a very good question and easy question. We have to just put the formula that is, displacement is equal to 14,000 ton, heel 8 degrees, rm 400 tm and kg 7.3 meters. Rm will be displacement multiplied by gm multiplied by sin theta. So Rm moment of statical stability is 400. So we will put 400 here. Displacement we know 14,000. Sin 8 means sin theta means sin 8 degrees. So we have to find the gm. After that we can find the km because the kg is already given. So gm will be 400 divided by 14,000 x sin 8 which is equal to the 1948 decimal 428 so gm will be 0 0.2053 now to find the km we have to add the gm to the kg so final the km will be 7.053 meters question 4 says that a ship of 8000 ton displacement has a kb of 3.5 meters Km 6.5 meters and Kg 6 meters. Okay. Three parameters are given. Find her moment of statical stability at 20 degrees heel. Assuming that her deck age remains above water. That is, she is still wall side at that angle of heel. Okay. 
So again displacement is 8000 kb 3.5 km 6.5 kg 6 meters square 20 degrees. So we will find the gm. So to find gm we have km which is 6.5 we have kg which is 6. So once you subtract the 6 from 6.5 it will be 0 0.5 meters. Since gz is equal to sin theta gm plus 1 by 2 bm tan square theta. Guys we have kb and km. So we will find the bm also. So in this formula we have gz sine 20 degrees so guys this is actually degrees by mistake i have put the zero here so sine 20 degrees 0 0.5 plus 1 by 2 into 3 into 10 square into 20 okay so gz will be 0 0.239 once you solve this formula the gz will be 0 0.239 rm will be displacement multiplied by writing level which is equals to the 8000 multiplied by gz that is 0 0.239 which equals to the 1912 so her movement of statical stability or you can say her movement of writing movement at 20 degree heel is 1912 tons meter question 5 says that a ship of 4000 ton displacement has kg 5.1 meters kb 2.1 meters km 5.5 meters Find the moment of statical stability that is RM when she heals 24 degrees assuming that she is wall side. Okay. Displacement is 4000 tons, kg is 5.1, kb is 2.1. Now km will be 5.5, heal will be 24 degrees. Okay. So km is equal to the km minus kg which is equal to the 5.1, 5.5 minus 5.1 which is equal to the 0.4. So we have gm as 0 0.4 meters. Similarly, bm will be km minus kb, which is equals to the 5.5 minus 2.1, which is equals to the 3.4 meters. Okay. Gz will be sine theta gm plus 1 by 2 bm tan square theta. So we will put the values like gz is equals to the sine 24 degrees. Gm will be 0 0.4 plus 1 by 2 as it is bm will be 3.4 meters multiplied by 10 square 24 so guys there is one problem once you solve the formula gz is equal to sine theta gm plus 1 by 2 bm 10 square theta how will you put the 10 square theta in your calculator now guys whenever you put this uh, formula on your calculator put the formula like this 0 0.4 plus 1 by 2 multiplied by 3.4 multiplied by 10 24 then multiply by 10 24 so it will be 10 square 24 so gz will be 0 0.300 which is equals to the rm which is equals to the w multiply by gz 4000 multiply by 0 0.300 is equals to the 1200 so her rm at 24 degree heel is 1200 so guys this is all for today we will meet in the next video so without wasting time, let's end the video now. I hope you like the video. So check the description box for the some data. So till then, we will meet in the next video. So till then, Jai Hind Jai Bharat, Vande Matram.